What's up? This is Afro Matanderwitch World here. Today, taking a look at the latest Super D ROM. This is Super D 1.11. This is an updated ROM review, guys. It says 1.10.4, but it is 1.11. I promise you, this is Super D 1.11. So, let's go ahead and take a look first at some of the applications we got here. Uh, calculator. See, wow. It's just so fast. Such a fast ROM. Calculator pops up instantly. Really great. Let's go ahead and take a look at clock. Okay, again, very fast. Take a look at dialer. Super fast. Contacts. Opens up right away. Let's go ahead and take a look at messaging right away. Um, we do got the latest music mod, which is definitely nice. I have quite a few songs on here. You see it loaded them up blazing fast. Pick a random song here. So pretty cool. You see it got the album right there. Wow, I picked a good random song to pick. Um, it has the album art there. And yeah, works very, very well. Let's go ahead and take a look at some more applications. does have YouTube, does have spare parts and everything like that. Make sure you guys go to spare parts and put home app in memory. It'll just make it to where pretty much you'll never get a loading screen when going home. So I just wanted to show you guys those applications launch speeds real quick because I was personally amazed with it. I could not believe that it was going that fast. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ROM now. I'm running the ADW latest donut launcher, so if you guys want it, there's a video on my YouTube channel. Make sure you check that out. Anyways, um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the widgets that are included. Long press and hit widgets. You see you got analog clock, which is the stock kind of cyanogen looking analog clock. Um, take a look back. We have all the calendar and all the music widgets. Full screen one's definitely nice really like the look of it but personally the half screen one is my favorite go ahead and show you guys that one right here that one's my favorite for sure so let's go and long press that take it off screen and take a look at the other widgets that are here we got power control picture frame and search and that's about it so very very stock donor ROM but you will see uh, we got the battery percentage up in the top there, black notification bar, but it pulls down white, so keep that in mind if you guys don't like that, like I don't. Keep that in mind. We see it's so fluid, I really don't mind. So let's go ahead and go into the browser and just show you guys it's the latest browser. It just launches so fast. The ROM in general is just the fastest ROM I flashed. Completely stock, Android keyboard included. So that's not bad, but it's not the best keyboard in the world. Go ahead and let that browser load up. I'm connected to 3G right now, so it's going to take a little bit longer than it normally would. Definitely didn't take long, though. And we will go to the classic site. And we'll show you guys if pinch zooming and double tap zooming works. So I'm going to go ahead and let this load up. Alright guys, so it's done. So let's go ahead and take a look at pinch zooming. Um, you see it's there. Um, it's definitely a little bit smoother than we've seen it on donut ROMs before. But still not the smoothest thing in the world. We have double tap zooming though, and that definitely works a lot better. So let's go ahead and go back home and take a look at the camera and camcorder. They both fully work. It's a donut ROM, so you should definitely expect that it would work. Here we are. Um, you can snap a picture. The preview's not broken or anything, so it won't distort. There you go. Picture's taken. We can switch over to video mode, and we can take a video just as easily as we could take a picture. Just start it. Stop it, and the video is taken. So that's a good thing. It's a donut wrong, guys, so every single thing is going to work. And we have the latest Eclair applications, except the gallery. The gallery is not the 3D gallery. Again, it's a donut ROM, so you shouldn't really expect it to be. But there is um, there is pinch to zoom, but it's the jittery one in this gallery, so it's not like it's not the fluid one. It's the one that like goes click, click, click. So keep that in mind, guys. Going back, um, it does come with. The latest spare parts does come with terminal emulator, super users permissions. I already showed you guys settings. It's based off of a 1.6 donut ROM, but it has the SD updater, so that's pretty cool. It'll auto update Super D when there's the latest ROM. So I can check now, checking for updates. And I'm not really sure why it says 1.10.4, but 
one it's really not but you can see it is the latest super d rom i went to it and there's no latest there's no other super d available other than that guys it's just a really really fast donut rom i personally don't stay on donut roms any longer i'm all uh, i'm all eclair now so I recommend that you guys stay and get ready for an Eclair ROM review because there is one, there is two coming, actually three. So let's go ahead and scroll down the notification bar, tap USB connected and hit mount and see how to get this on our phone. So what you're going to want to do first is drag the DRC83 base defang.zip to the root of your SD card. It's 34.4 megabytes. Then you're going to go in and find wherever you downloaded this SuperD 1.11 ROM and I downloaded it into the ROMs and donut ROMs and drag and drop that to the root of your SD card as well and that is 46 megabytes so let those finish alright guys and now that it's done just eject your phone from the computer and go back to it and when we're back on our phone unplug the USB cable and you'll get the preparing SD card logo in the notification bar so when it goes away we're gonna reboot into recovery so just hold down the end call button tap reboot and hit OK and when your phone shuts off hold down the home key if you don't have the reboot option just turn off your phone and turn it back on with home and power so hold down home and that will boot us into recovery um, right now I'm running the latest Almond Raw 1.7.0 recovery image so I will have a video on that as soon as possible just stay ready for that it works on pretty much any Almond Raw recovery image but yeah so we're going to go down to wipe and we're going to do a full wipe it's the very first option data slash factory reset then go back, go to flash zip from SD card, and flash the base defanged dot zip. Alright guys, now that it's done, just go to flash zip from SD card, and flash super D 1.11. Alright guys, now that that's done, just go ahead and hit reboot system now, and let your phone boot up. Alright guys, and when your phone boots up, you will officially be running the latest Super D ROM. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash androidsworld, and favorite or rate this video a thumbs up if you like the ROM. Comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.